Throughout history, people have lived in almost everything from caves to huts to castles to blocks of apartments to sprawling suburbs. And nowadays, you can find an example of any house to suit your needs. Some people get creative because of some physical restrictions like small spaces, while others end up creating unique, outrageous home designs like these. If you feel like you could use some inspiration for your future home or just like checking out the weird ideas, then you should feel right at home here. From penthouses in the sky to mansions hosting Hollywood elite, there's even a bubble house. Here are 15 of the most incredible homes in the world. So we decided to, to create a, a garden in the middle of the city, so we had lots of roof gardens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Hundertwasser House, Austria. This is one of Austria's architectural marvels. There are more than 200 trees and shrubs on the balconies and rooftop, a green oasis in the heart of Vienna. The house features undulating floors, large trees growing inside the rooms, with limbs extending from windows. Within the house, there are 53 apartments, four offices, 16 private terraces, and three communal terraces, and a total of 250 trees and bushes. Workers used 900 tons of soil to construct the green areas, and plants appear all over the place, often where you'd least expect them. The extraordinary building was constructed between 1983 and 1985, a concept of Austrian artist Friedenstreich Hudensizer, in collaboration with architect Josef Krawina and architect Peter Pelikan, at a cost of over $8.3 million. At the Hudensweiser village, the artist created a shopping experience with a village square, a bar, and numerous stores. And since you can go inside, the village allows you to discover how those trees grow out from the walls, and you can imagine just what it's like to live there. There's probably a long wait list to live in this house. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Although little is known about this futuristic underwater floating biosphere, it's been rumored that it could be the mock-up home of the future for large communities when zombies have driven humans off the Earth's surface. Yeah, that's right. Could this be the world's first zombie-proof underwater city? Perhaps this underwater mecca is a very real possibility if the Earth's surface became uninhabitable either from zombies or pollution, the ravages of world war, or even global warming. It'd be an incredible experience to visit, much less live inside this bubble world, or maybe it's a spin on the classic cruise ship, and this vessel floats through the water as opposed to on top of it. And what a cruise that would be, don't you think? Make sure to comment below and use the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? The Sky Garden House, Singapore. Imagine yourself here. Created as a lush natural garden within the city, the Mira Sky Garden House is close to Singapore. The original idea was to build a residence like no other, a structure worthy of its location. It has a natural roof garden design created with central light and stairwell that funnels the sea breeze through the building. And check out the clever design, the front and rear of the building terrace back so each story gets access to greenery. The concept was to allow each roof garden to provide a base for the story above with a layered effect. It makes each story feel like it was a single story, with light filtering through a pool down to the subterranean level. Just amazing. The result is a roomy, multi-layered residence with immersive gardens, water, and greenery at all levels. This house is located on a new housing estate on the island of Sentosa adjacent to Singapore. Renowned around the world as Singapore's Monte Carlo and touted as one of the world's most desired addresses, this island is a prestigious luxury waterfront enclave known as a haven for the rich and famous. We can see why. Sky Garden House is literally heavenly, a sensational home for sure. <laughs> To Hawaiian, China. At $154 million is this mansion China's most expensive home. The 1,663-acre estate is named To Hawaiian, which translates to Utopia, located on a private island on the city of Zuzhou's Dushu Lake on the South Shore. It has a total of 32 bedrooms and 32 bathrooms, with all of the bedrooms facing south for maximum natural light. Some of these private gardens have been recognized as world cultural heritage sites. In recent years, these garden-style homes have been 
been sought after by the top real estate collectors and took about three years to build. The craftsman manifested the essence of the classic East Asian garden and created a masterpiece of contemporary landscaping. The house was built in line with the laws of feng shui too. Classical furniture has been set inside, there's artworks, a huge walk-in cellar, and an infinity edge pool overhanging the lake and the garden. Outside you can also enjoy its craggy rocks, typical flora, and even a waterfall. Plus, it's bordered with canals, more gardens and bridges. Many buyers have expressed their interest in this house, ready to succumb to its charm even with this outrageous price tag. <laughs> Volcano House, Mojave Desert. Is it us, or does this place kind of look like an alien spacecraft or a space station on another planet? Built in 1970, architect Harold Bisner Jr. designed the home to look like an information center at the heart of a nuclear generating plant. Mission accomplished. It's located in Newberry Springs, California, halfway between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. The iconic Volcano House is on the market, too, with a $650,000 price tag. That's a pretty good deal, to be honest. The two-bedroom, two-bathroom dome-shaped property with $300,000 360-degree views of the Mojave Desert stands atop a 150-foot cinder cone. And yeah, it used to be an active volcano. The 2,206-square-foot residence is complete with high-curved ceilings, glass doors, and a wraparound observation deck that offers stunning views. You'll be living your best life in the volcano house. The property also boasts a man-made lake, which only adds to the epicness, as well as an additional apartment at the base of the volcano that has an oversized garage and would be ideal for a guest house. So bring your friends and your family. They're there's room. Let's just hope that the volcano beneath it stays inactive. <laughs> the Odeon Tower Penthouse, Monaco. Can you imagine living in the 49-story concrete and glass tower? Sitting atop the second tallest building on Europe's Mediterranean coastline, you'll not believe this sky penthouse. The palace with five floors was put on the market for a cool $335 million. Give it or take, this price tag is beyond even the most expensive homes in the world. The 31,500-square-foot pad occupies the 45th through the 49th floors of the tower. It includes a rooftop deck and pool with its own water slide that descends one story from the dance floor directly into the infinity pool, a grand vision of extravagant opulence. The top tier of exclusive luxury residences, rising majestically above the crystal blue waters of the Mediterranean, the Sky Penthouse has unprecedented 360-degree views. It was designed by architect Alexandre Giraldi. Located within the Golden Citadel of Monte Carlo, it's the latest addition to Monaco, setting a new standard for luxury living. Overlooking the stunning coast, this penthouse is unprecedented luxury in the playground of billionaires at the heart of Morocco. Just think about those pool parties. <laughs> Orchid House, California. Malibu has been a celebrity haunt since the beginning of the Hollywood era. The new owner of this glamorous beach retreat will be joining the ranks of Lady Gaga, Julia Roberts, and Steven Spielberg. However, this palace on the beach was listed for a mammoth price tag of $100 million, making it the eighth priciest home on the market in LA County. Commissioned by the Irish actor Pierce Bronson and his wife, they built the almost 13,000 square foot compound and then spent 10 years finishing it. Titled Orchid House, the interior consists of five bedrooms, 14 baths, a gourmet kitchen, and gorgeous roomy living areas. At the heart of the main house are luxurious living and dining areas an oversized fireplace and floor-to-ceiling sliding doors that open onto the huge beachside deck. The Traventine floored West Wing has a state-of-the-art theater with tiered seating, a bar, and custom surround sound. On the East Wing is a gym, a game room, and a recording studio. The spa features a dry and infrared sauna, steam room, soaking tub, and shower. An outside shower and wide travertine staircase leads directly from the spa to the pool and beachfront. You too can live like a superstar celebrity at Orchid House if you got a hundred million bucks. Newark Palace, Kensington Palace Gardens, London. Sir Nasser David Khalili is a British-Iranian scholar, collector, and philanthropist based in London. His art collections are considered among the most important in the world, 35,000 artworks. In 1995, he bought 18 and 19 Kensington Palace Gardens. His objective was to return the buildings back to their original splendor and by using the original drawings made in 1845 by the architect of the Palace of Westminster, the historic character of the building was preserved. All the original features and decorations were carefully restored. Marble for pillars was imported from the same Indian quarry that had been used to build the Taj Mahal. By treating the property like a valued object in his collection, the owner created one of the finest and most aesthetically stunning places in Europe. 
His purchase of the property and its subsequent refurbishment cost $177 million, involving 400 craftsmen and believed to have been second in scale only to the restoration of Windsor Castle after a 1992 fire. The building was sold for $70 million, making it the most expensive private home in the country. The Pole House, Australia Welcome to the Pole House, widely known as the most photographed house in Australia. Suspended 55 feet above Fairhaven Beach, this pole house is one of the most iconic homes down under. It was built by Frank Dixon and instantly became a landmark. The design dates back to the 70s when Dixon decided to construct his family's very own vacation home. Rather than fading into nature, the pole house was designed as a sculptural beacon, like a lighthouse. For eight years, Dixon worked on it suspended over the ocean. Along with a walkway connecting it to the street, he designed a thin pillar to support the property set right into the beach below. The structure itself was sculpted like a pavilion. To conceal the pillar that supports the home, a wooden capsule encloses the bathroom and kitchen. A sinuous fireplace hangs from the ceiling. It features stone floors and illuminated buttons and faucets. Curtains, chairs, and partitions all respond to electronic commands, but nothing draws attention away from the stunning nature outside. From those who'd like the roars of the waves, suspended in a modern pad 55 feet off the ground, the pole house is now for rent. <laughs> Goose Creek Tower, Alaska, hidden outside Talkeetna, Alaska, is a home known by locals as the Dr. Seuss House. And for good reason. While this charming house has no direct relation to the famed author, it's easy to see how the landmark got its nickname. Unlike anything Dr. Seuss wrote about, however, this house is real, it's not a fantasy, says Philip Widener, creator, builder, and owner of the towering home, which stands 185 feet high. Widener did originally only plan on building a two-story log cabin, then he let his mind, an engineering degree, run wild. He decided to add another floor, then another and another, and it just kept going. Depending on how you look at it and which ladders and staircases you climb to get to the top, there are somewhere between 14 and 17 floors. Once you get to the top, you've got a view of over 300 miles too. The house's official name is Goose Creek Tower, but Widener calls it his home to the sky. The house has been under construction going on 20 years now and remains a sight to behold that visitors to the small town can view from the road but is no longer open for tours. <laughs> Bubble Palace, France Fashion designer Pierre Cardin's Bubble Palace, a complex of domes on the French Riviera, came up for sale. Priced at $420 million, one of the highest asking prices ever for a European property, the Bubble Palace was built between 1975 and 1989 by the Hungarian architect Antti Lovag, who wanted to design a home that mimicked prehistoric human dwellings and caves. Built over six levels on a rocky outcrop of a volcanic mountain range that overlooks the bays of Cannes and Nice, the 13,000 square foot complex includes an enormous banquet hall and reception area, a panoramic lounge with windows facing the sea, and 10 bedroom suites decorated and furnished by famous contemporary artists. Waterfalls spill over the building's ochre surfaces, and there are tropical gardens and terraces with private swimming pools. The property boasts an outdoor amphitheater that seats 500 people, too. Cardin bought the Bubble Palace at auction in the early 90s and hosted a string of celeb parties and fashion events there. The entire estate can be rented for $33,200 a day. Emma Bunn the British pop singer and former Spice Girl shot the artwork for her 2004 album there and it was featured in Absolutely Fabulous, the movie. The One, Los Angeles For years, developer Niall Naimi has been teasing real estate lovers about The One, a 100,000 square foot mega mansion in California that he hoped to sell. All his homes boast insanely over-the-top amenities. Even among the colossal estates of Hollywood eccentrics, the house is like nothing else. The estate stretches across eight acres and centers on a 100,000 square foot palace that looks more like a futuristic mothership than a home. Naimi ended up not developing some of the amenities he teased, including a jelly fish tank in a frozen room with an ice bar, but he still saved space for a nightclub, four-lane bowling alley, 50-seat theater, juice bar, putting green, beauty salon, yoga platform, and five swimming pools. The primary suite alone is bigger than the average U.S. home at 4,000 square feet. He originally planned to list it for $500 million in 2017, but the home still hasn't hit the market. But Naimi did recently release an application that asks prospective buyers to supply their name, email address, phone number, and proof of funds along with the question, which influencer did you find out from? Is this how real estate will be sold in the future? 
St. Moritz Ski Resort, Switzerland. Welcome to Launce Delight Estate, a $185 million St. Moritz property that sits in the Engadine Alpine Valley region. At just over 43,000 square feet, the grand entryway leads to the reception area with 35-foot floor-to-ceiling windows and strips of mink fur covering an entire wall opposite arched fireplaces. There's a crushed red velvet encased library complete with a secret office hidden behind one of the walls. The breakfast nook has a 24-karat gold leaf wall. Glass stairs lead to five and suite bedrooms. Each room features buttery soft cashmere covered walls and bathrooms dressed in expensive stone. Not to be missed is the gold covered ceiling with 178 floating Swarovski crystal candles. A short trip up the elevator leads to a private level reserved for the massive bedroom suite, which showcases a white fox fur rug and an enormous white onyx bath with a 360 degree glass shower, a wine cellar, state of the art cinema, spa with a pink Himalayan salt room, sauna, ice chamber, and private massage area, and subterranean pool and jacuzzi. The works. The estate has direct outdoor access to the slopes and a private chairlift. Rounding out the amenities is a six-car garage. It's no wonder that this modern-day castle is the priciest pad in Switzerland. Hmm. <laughs> Antilia Tower, Mumbai. There are fancy houses, and then there's Antilia Tower, the Mumbai home of a famous business magnate. Inspired by the mythical Atlantic island, it's estimated to be the world's second most expensive property after Buckingham Palace and reportedly costs an estimated $2 billion. Here are a few reasons why Antilia has reached an iconic status in India and the world. The 400,000 square foot building is situated in one of the world's most expensive addresses, Altamount Road in South Mumbai. The building comes with 27 floors, replete with extra high ceilings every floor is the same height of an average two-story building. The top six floors of the building have been set aside as the private full-floor residential area. It comes with a mega temple, a fleet of guest suites, a salon, an ice cream parlor, and a private movie theater to accommodate 50 people. Antilia has six dedicated floors for cars. In fact, the garage has space to accommodate 168 cars. The building even has a dedicated car service station on the seventh floor. There are nine high-speed elevators, too. The Mumbai summer is hot, so there's a snow room to help beat the heat. The walls produce man-made snowflakes. Xanadu 2.0 Seattle With a net worth of $95.3 billion, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates is the second richest man in America. It took Gates seven years and $63 million to build his Medina, Washington estate named Xanadu 2.0 after the fictional home of the title character of Citizen Kane. At 66,000 square feet, the home is absolutely massive and loaded with high-tech details. When guests arrive, they're given a pin that interacts with sensors located all over the house. Guests enter their temperature and light preferences so that the settings change as they move throughout the home. The hall can seat up to 150 people. Situated around the house are $80,000 worth of computer screens. Anyone can make the screens display their favorite artwork. The 60-foot pool is in its own separate 3,900 square foot building. No word on how big the trampoline is, but the exercise facilities include a sauna, steam room, and locker rooms. It has seven bedrooms and a whopping 18 bathrooms. The 2,100 square foot library has a dome roof and two secret bookcases including one that reveals a hidden bar. This is where the Codex Leicester is kept, a 16th century Leonardo da Vinci manuscript that Gates bought at an auction for $30.8 million. <laughs> The Beverly House, California, one of the world's most famous mansions. The Beverly House comes with an iconic history of Hollywood glitz and glamour. The 50,000 square foot home sits on three and a half acres with 19 bedrooms and 29 full bathrooms, a two-story library with a wraparound walkway, a spa, and a billiards room a hand-carved stone fireplace, and an intricately designed ceiling. Built back in 1927 by Gordon Kaufman, the mansion served as the home of newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst and actress Marion Davies. Now it's recognized as a landmark of Hollywood's golden era. As an added bonus, it's extremely private, with four wrought iron security gates that block off an 800-foot driveway. And that's why it played host to a number of other famous folks. It was one of the destinations for Jacqueline and John F. Kennedy's honeymoon, and later became is West Coast Election Headquarters. It was also featured prominently in the movie The Godfather starring Marlon Brando and The Bodyguard starring Whitney Houston and Kevin Costner. The home is located just three blocks from Sunset Boulevard and the Beverly Hills Hotel and can easily accommodate up to 400 guests for a seated dinner and more than 1,000 for a casual get-together. If these walls could talk,
Mm-hmm. <laughs>